Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. It doesn't happen too often, but once in a while, your high temperature is exactly where it should be from a climatological perspective. That's true today. 73 degrees was our high, our record high on the state, 97 degrees. What a hot one. That was three years ago exactly. Here's the latest on Hurricane Florence. And uh, it almost looks like it's trying to strengthen just a little bit just off the coast of North Carolina right now. There's Moorhead, Wilmington's right here. They're getting hammered right now. Not only that, the hurricane seems to be stalling a little bit, certainly slowing down. They're going to have big, big issues over the next, oh goodness, 72 hours or so. There's the radar scope of it. Really gives you an impression of what's going on. Uh, there's the eye right there, very well defined. Not only do you have the threat of high winds and uh, with the hurricane itself, you get tornadoes in these outer bands and they have a tornado watch right now for eastern North Carolina to top it off along with all those flood warnings. That's why they have you evacuate those areas just because it's such a uh, chaotic situation down there with all the different types of uh, dangerous uh, weather phenomena. All right, let's go out towards Minot right now. You're looking at a temperature of 70 degrees. Pretty comfortable. There is a bit of a breeze out there at north northwest at 17 at miles per hour. Temperatures cooler to the north there, 70 in Minot, 66 in Harvey, 68 in Williston. Temperatures just dropped to 66 there in Watford City. Warmer to the south, Hettinger and Dickinson checking in at 73 degrees each. Your satellite radar, the yeah, front moved on in towards the east here. That's what was responsible for those thunderstorms yesterday. A few showers out towards the Grand Forks area. Lots of sunshine for the center part of the state. Few light showers. I'm not even sure if they're making it to the ground here just north of Williston there. Rolling at the jet stream. The jet stream is that uh, speedy branch of air way above us about where the airplanes fly. It usually shows you where the active weather is. And the reason I'm pulling this up is because I want to pull or throw, throw it through the uh, forecast period here. And you can see that the jet stream just continues to park itself right over our area. And you'll notice in the seven day coming up, we just have rain chances every single day. Uh, no really big storm systems, but a pretty active weather pattern. Getting up to 50 or getting down to 50 degrees tonight in Bismarck, uh, partly cloudy with a possible shower in the morning. Minot, you're looking at a temperature getting down to 46, so pretty cool and uh, good, could see an outside chance for a shower. Those winds certainly will calm down. Tomorrow morning's lows looking at 40s and 50s across the state and your high tomorrow in Bismarck, 73. Pretty comfortable, partly cloudy with a possible shower again right about where we should be here for the middle of September. Minot, you're looking at a high of 68 degrees with again a slight chance for a shower. Highs tomorrow across the state, warmer to the south, you're getting up to the low to mid 70s, up to the upper 60s for Minot and areas pushing towards the Canadian border. Your harvest forecast, light wind out of the north northeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour, looking at some decent humidity there in the air, uh, 50 to 60 percent by the afternoon, so a little little bit on the humid side. There's your seven day for Minot and Williston. Check this out. I'm not even sure that I've forecasted a seven day like this. Just outside chances for rain every single day. Now we're not talking about a washout any particular day, but there just exists a chance. Uh, temperatures pretty seasonal into the weekend, and it does look like we will cool off still by the middle of next week. Bismarck 73 tomorrow. Chance for shower Friday. Saturday does look dry, but I tell you, it gets warm. Look at that, 85 degrees on Sunday. And then uh, we are cooling off by the middle of next week. That uh, advertised cool down still looks like it's <laughs> on its way, guys, after yeah. 85 on Sunday. Yeah. We'll enjoy that day. Yeah, yeah save good. the good days for the weekend. There you go. Stay tuned. Sports is coming up next.